Um, so first question, I asked Bill the same thing. What were your takeaways from the rookie tournament and those who earned a spot um, on the training camp roster? You know, it seemed like that culture kind of even bled down to the rookie level. And what were your takeaways from that tournament over the weekend? You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer of uh, leadership. And there's a few takeaway. I, the first two games, we had a group who drive hard or physical, compete every shift. It was great to see everybody was in. And I'm obligated to say in the last game, we took leadership out of the lineup and then we did not have the same group. So that is a positive thing for the guys who've been taking out of the lineup because they showed their real value. And at the same time, it's a challenge for the other guys who were in the lineup and they were not up to par for that game. So uh, I really like the grit, the Billy name, a bunch of guys, I agree with him, they, uh, they showed good thing. And when our culture will keep growing and when our culture will be at the level we want, if we had two player or subtract two player, it won't change anything. Of leadership looking ahead to the roster, you lost quite a few leaders from last year's team. Yep. Just a lot of experience, a lot, some championship caliber yep. experience. How do you replace that? What do you look to towards your current roster? Yeah, that's a really good question, Patrick. You know, I was listening to you asking question to Bill, and you were asking what's the next step and how to look the next step. Uh, for me, that's the next step for us. You, we lost six guys who play for more than 6,000 games in the NHL. One, I don't know how many Stanley Cup, but quite a few. You don't, I think it's five Stanley Cup total. We, you know, th those guys were uh, not our best player, but they were heart and soul. And when we went through tough time, those guys kept the, Everybody level, everybody kept working. Um, Billy said many times last year, and people were saying, you know, we lost a lot at the start of the season. I think it's 11 in a row, whatever. You were showing up the next day at the practice, and it looked like we were first overall. We're working hard. If everybody has enthusiasm, that was the leadership. Now, the next step for me is we have a second layer of leadership who now became become our first layer of leadership who learn under those guys, who now have to take charge. And I don't know if that translates in result. It's not, I hope it is, but my main concern is when those guys will have the, the ownership of the team and the leadership on our player, that would be a huge step forward because even if people think leadership, it's, uh, it's being a good hockey player, it's nothing related with being a good hockey player. It's, taking charge of taking a responsibility and uh, holding other accountable and uh, leading every way the right way and all of it. And it, it's, uh, it's a responsibility can be heavy, heavy sometimes. And I, I think we have the right personnel. I think our guys are ready for it. I'm excited about our new leadership group and I'm sure they will do a really good job and that will be a next step for us. Me, Is it any different for you coming in as your second year now kind of knowing, knowing the ropes as a head coach a little bit more. Does this feel a little bit or any different for you this time around? Uh, you know, I, I'm super passionate by my job. And every year, every level I coach, I see that as a, a challenge, an opportunity. And the thing I'm the most afraid in my life is to stay stagnant. That is that's something where... I can do anxiety when I think about not moving forward. So for me, it's I'm as excited this year than I was last year. For me, it's we need to get better as a team. I need to get better as a coach. I need to learn. I need to to to, to be much better than I was, and that's the way I approach this year. And I'm pretty sure in a year from now, when you will ask me the question, it will be the same kind of answer because that's the way I approach. I want our player to have the urgency to be relentless, and I think it started by by myself, by asking that from myself. Andre, following up on that, you, you talked to us the other day about refinements that you made after the season, both you know, in, after you evaluate personnel and then in your own system play. Yep. Can you maybe enlighten us a little bit on some of the changes or some of the ideas that were behind that? And then how, how difficult is that to implement when you have so much new personnel again this season? 
Cannot be worse than last year, Craig. You know, that was, last year was they were all new at our system, and the, the, um, that was a new way to bring things and a new way to do everything, and that we had a lot of new players. So I think this year we, uh, we start with a familiarity with our leadership, with, uh, you know, like Kazian and Chiesso and guys like that who I coached before, Stetcher, uh, or guys who had the chance to coach before, even if they're new players. So uh, we have uh, more guys where we have relationships, so that will help. And, um, you know, last year I think we improved during the season system-wise. And we, our coach, uh, Potsy and his group in Tucson, and I, Jay when he was here, and uh, all our, our crew, we did a lot of work. First, the World Championship. Uh, I had the chance to work with DJ Smith, Claude Julien, uh, really good coach over there, learn from those guys. Then we beat up every NHL game, any, any, every NHL playoff game, and we analyze every system and what they do in each zone and what, can, what we, tr we found really cool, but maybe it doesn't apply to the personnel we have. It's not every team who can play like Colorado, and then it's not like every team who can play like the Rangers or wh whoever the team you will pick. You need to have the personnel who fit that system. So we beat up every team and we look for stuff we can improve in our system or we can mimic some team and copy a few stuff. So we did a lot of work and uh, we had, uh, like Billy said, he's, he looks forward for us to, to get out of his office because right now our office is not ready. So for the last two weeks, we're, we're there from the morning to night and coach and we we beat up every detail to make sure we're all on the same page. One thing will be better than last year is, uh, you know, we often talk about players all being in the say, same page. I think as a coach as well, um, with Stiller, with Mario, with Schwabi, with Hunter, we, we have a year together now where we understand each other way more and Mads come on board and he has a layer, three times Stanley Cup champion. Uh, he, uh, he's been successful on the special team as a player, as a coach. So I think he's a really good addition for us. So now I think as a staff, we, are, we will be much better than we were last year. I wrote about this last summer when you came in. You made a, you took great pains to get some one-on-one -on -one time with most of your players before the season yeah. as you wanted to start to develop that relationship. Obviously, there are not as many new players, but yeah. have you gotten the chance to do that with some of the new players this year yet? Uh, not that much with the new player. I did it with uh, a lot of our leadership guys, a lot of our leaders. I, I spent a lot of time talking with the, the, the new guys and making sure they, they were well taken care of, they, make sure they knew what to expect, those kind of things. Yes, I did similar than I did last year. Nobody got invited on your fishing trips then? No, not on the fishing trip. I don't want them to see the side, this side. <laughs> no. Thanks. You know, that if, if you look at the big picture, you, you, that will be a challenge. I think there's only one way to, to, climb, to climb that is one step at a time. So, even if we look too far ahead, if we look whatever, what's the number exactly, I think it's uh, with training camp, it's like 33 game on the road over uh, out of uh, 29 or something like that, whatever, it's, it's, it's a huge number. If you look at that, how's that help you today? It doesn't help you today. The only thing you can control is today. And it's always the way I approach it. That's the way I answered it last year. Is the way I will answer it next year. I'm a, I'm a live in the present, win the day. What's important now? That's that's what I can do. So today, we had a good meeting with the player. I'm happy about the way it went. We win the day. Excellent. Tomorrow we start first practice. I'm super excited. I'm nervous. I'm a butterfly. I want to get out there and start get going. That's that's the only thing. What will happen on November 22nd? I don't know. Uh, this is too far for me. It's tomorrow. It's the most important thing. After that, after I talk to you guys, I'm, we're going back in the office and we're just reviewing what we have to do tomorrow. And that's will be our approach. And that I think the player appreciate the fact we stay in the present. We don't. 
We don't beat up too much what happened yesterday. Like I said, we, we lost 9 nothing yesterday. We will show up today with enthusiasm, with, with drive, we will work hard. We won 9 nothing yesterday, it's over. Now today, we need to win the day again. We need to be one person better every day. If, if we're not getting better today, we're getting worse. So why being worried what will happen in five days? I, win the day. That's my approach always been. It's boring answer, but that's the truth. That's the way I approach everything. So. Any more questions for Bear? Yeah, one more. Yeah. You hope the new arena kind of can hope get you guys in the right advantage for the season and kind of with the new teams coming in, make it a tough place to play for visiting teams to come in, being a very packed stadium inside. Hmm, it's a good question. Um, I I don't rely on the arena to give us a give us an edge. I rely on our guys, their focus, their work ethic, their commitment. But I hope to to have a really special atmosphere, to have a really special feeling when we get there. You know, uh, I have the chance, the opportunity to uh, to coach in those kind of arena a lot in my life, and you know. When you go in a building in that size and the people are into it, it's special. And, you know, there's not a 20,000 people arena, it's great, but the, this fan number 20,000 is over there, which the fan number 5,000 5, uh, is 40 feet from you. So it's, it's intimidating, they're on top of you. It's a different feeling, you know, I, like I said, I had the the opportunity to coach at the Bell Center in Montreal with 20,000 people, and I had the opportunity to coach in Drummondville with 5,000 people, and I thought they were crazy. So I think there's, it's not the number, it's the quality of the people in the place and the atmosphere we'll, we'll have in there. I think that make it special.